Hello my dear Capricorn, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between January 16 and January 31st, 2018 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, so I want to wish you a happy new year and happy holidays for everyone that uh, have a different calendar and thank you so much for the year that has went uh, that went by and all your beautiful support. Uh, so I used uh, Tarot uh, of the Hidden Realm by Barbara Moore and by Julia Jeffrey and I will start shuffling your cards. So when I open your deck here I see the card of death and the king of cups. Uh, so both death card and king of cups is Scorpio so it might be that many of you uh, Capricorn has um, uh, you're dealing with a Scorpio or water person or you might have been very affected by the Scorpio period. Um, you are Capricorn so it's very it's a very masculine sign and when we went to Scorpio it was actually opening uh, our heart uh, chakra uh, so it might have been a very changing for you Capricorn to go through this uh, moment in time okay so I call the divine with love and light uh, and here we have also the eight of wands so eight of wands with king of cups it might be that someone wants to uh, talk with you make peace offerings uh, communicate with you about something maybe there has been uh, some mixed wires or some miscommunication that needs to be sorted out but from me eight of wands and king of cups is uh, uh, is very much love and a confession of love and uh, together with the um, uh, knight of cups it's usually an apology and with king of cups it's more so it might be an offering of uh, love commitment or uh, some kind of proposal okay um, and for others that's a little bit more newly awakened it might uh, for for these it can be uh, more of this awakening stuff like awakening of the heart awakening of uh, and becoming more and more healed so I call the four archangels and here we see the queen of swords uh, in the four corners of the world uh, and I call the six elements uh, two of wands earth wind fire water spirits and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Capricorn Here's the sun, <laughs> viewers. Oh, so uh, my dear Capricorn, we saw some cards coming through, Queen of Swords, Two of Wands and the Sun card. Uh, so if love is going to be offered, I think the other party is not going to trust this. Love is going to be offered, I think, maybe offer of commitment or someone wants to uh, maybe have your forgiveness or working together with you, uh, like working something out, compromising, um, uh, taking in a little bit of what uh, you want and a little bit of what they want and maybe you can cook something together. But um, the feminine part of the mix seems to be very skeptical. Um, maybe you have just um, recently uh, decided that uh, this is crap, it's not working and uh, the Queen of Swords is like shopping heads off, um, moving in her own direction, um, choosing maybe to be a little bit detached and, and lonely, uh, trusting only herself and the Two of Wands is self-control and holding one's horses. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm not, I'm thinking that uh, the offer might not be uh, accepted at once but then we have the sun card showing this amazing happiness so uh, if um, trust can be built uh, I think the queen of swords can come around and and change her mind so uh, okay so I'll just tune into your reading for a few seconds okay so my dear Capricorn this is your future uh, this is your now there and this is the past so in the past here we have the fool so and it's the butterfly butterfly that is showing transformation that's also come with death uh, so um, the fool is the new beginning and something has ended and transformed a big change has occurred and it might be that someone is more uh, more truthful more honest uh, showing more of their heart showing more uh, bravery also to be vulnerable and open and um, 
do foolish things <laughs> in the name of uh, in the name of love maybe and there's something here waiting waiting for something to take off or to have some fruitation three of cups here uh, fairy stall stallion so i think someone is longing for like a new start or an adventure or a new start in love or this um, um like this kind of commitment this um, kind of bond being strengthened uh, and this is in the now so the past is december beginning of january this is the second part of january and we have a nine of pentacles so i think here comes the queen of swords energy uh, that uh, many of you capricorns will have that um well, uh, I'm not so interested in a new start. I'm more here to take care of myself and to build on my own life because I have learned that I can't trust others. I can only trust myself. Uh, so uh, we see two different energies here. One that wants to make a bet and have a new start and the other one is more preoccupied is in taking care of them themselves because they don't trust so much other people. Uh, so, uh, and into February, we will see some kind of communication will come through. Page of Wands, yes, definitely a, p a communication about love and a possible commitment uh, because one person has been feeling left out in the cold. Uh, so, uh, it will probably be uh, in different ways where different energies, but it seems like it will be the masculine, like the person that has been the most masculine in the situation will be the one that reaches out and the one that has been feminine and maybe very giving before is now more holding their horse horses uh, okay and here is uh, the past for you and we have a uh, three of pentacles so three of pentacles is working on something to perfection uh, it's a uh, trinity so it's very harmonious it's connected to the empress and uh, pregnancy and um um, manufacturing things, uh, an abundance of creation. Uh, but it's also this card talks about um, health programs uh, that might be like difficult situation inside a family or a group of people that needs to be solved. And when this situation is solved, it's actually going to lead to uh, something greater for everyone involved. Uh, so it's also it's very much the card for like personal growth that you do on yourself like step by step and and you have this um, uh, this want to uh, not in an inferior way but in a positive way you have this want on perfecting yourself or making yourself better and better all the time so it's definitely a card about personal growth uh, and sometimes in opposition with others. Uh, so this opposition will lead to uh, to uh, things being better and better. And here you have the King of Cups. So three of, uh, three of Pentacles together with the King of Cups is definitely healing. It might be healing of uh, past uh, illnesses or healing of relationship due to uh, work being put into uh, that situation. And by uh, all people involved, not just one person taking the workload, but... Uh, all people needs to be uh, involved and here we have this uh, uh, it might be Scorpio Pisces or Cancer or any uh, person that has um, uh, started to heal their heart and really be like be comfortable inside their heart region be comfortable with uh, exploring their emotions and also communicating their emotions uh, and I'm sensing it that it might be newly awakening because of the fool card here uh, so it might be a grown person that's recently, by personal growth probably, have learned to uh, show more uh, of their heart. Okay, and here we have an eight of swords. So okay, uh, we shouldn't uh, jump into do <laughs> too happy <laughs> news too soon because the eight of swords is like a person keeping everything in this a secret. So they want to work together with you uh, and they want to show you love, but they are secretive about it. They are pretending like uh, they don't need love. They don't need you. Uh, they don't need anyone, other people. Uh, the Eight of Swords is also like a person, maybe it's not um, uh, in their culture uh, or in their the ways of their family to show emotions and affection and cooperation. 
and um, maybe there's uh, something here maybe they are being pretend prevented by maybe their family doesn't like you or there's some gossip going on uh, eight of swords is um uh, is gemini and um it's this back and forth um uh, uh, so a person to solve this this person here that has they want to work together they want to open their heart they need to start to align with themselves uh, but probably as i said they are new to this so they don't know uh, they have been following maybe society's rules for a long time and if it's a masculine person they are not supposed to cry they are not supposed to show emotions and uh, not supposed to it's like the feminine has all the uh, the saying in this and the masculine is supposed to be um, uh, dried up and empty, I don't know. But here is a person trying to, they are both. Uh, they are feeling this from the deep of their core, but they are holding it back so they, don't, they, not, they are not telling you. Uh, so it might be that uh, you are keeping your love a secret for someone else or someone is keeping their love a secret from you. Um, with the eight of swords, it can be... Uh, like they can't stop thinking about you. It's going in repetitive thought patterns. Uh, with the eights, it's also usually very strong connection. So uh, it's like a gum in your hair or dog poo underneath your shoe. Uh, impossible to get rid of or very hard to get rid of, even if you want to. So maybe this person doesn't want to love you. Maybe this person uh, doesn't want to cooperate with you, but they have the longing to do so. But their, their head is saying no. Mm? So it's a... Uh, it's a little bit frozen situation there. And here we had this uh, nine of pentacles. So this might be what the other side is sensing uh, that um, this battle is going on. So uh, you don't want to trust this person because uh, if they don't want you with their head as well, uh, they can stay away. So it's a little bit like this, uh, what I'm feeling here. And here you have the three of wands. Um, it came in the same position for Pisces as well. So it might be a Pisces that many of you Capricorns are dealing with because they got... Uh, you have the King of Cups here. They get, they got uh, the King of Coins there. So the King of Coins is Capricorn. Uh, so Three of Wands is the Holy Trinity, and you also have the Three of uh, Pentacles. Uh, it's about first you need to heal yourself to be able to heal any relationship in your surroundings. So when you have your uh, <laughs> your the baby the the witch and the warrior, uh, you are becoming whole. Uh, the baby is the fool, of course, and and the the witch is um, uh, the high priestess and the empress energy. Uh, the warrior is the emperor and the high priest energy. Uh, so everything of this needs to be in the right place inside of you. Like the child, it has a lot of needs. It's crying for its needs to be met. Uh, the witch is interpreting those signals, and the masculine is the one that does uh, the active. Uh, force that see to that the needs gets met so in a situation it might be like uh, you're feeling like you love a person uh, you have this feeling every time they come around you feel like a little bit nauseous or getting all like adrenaline rush in your body or, or something similar to this and your witch is thinking well I think I'm in love <laughs> so and your warrior goes and tell to that person okay so uh, do you want to take coffee with me someday so that is how a healthy person uh, should work. And three is, of course, all those trees is connected to the Empress. Uh, so Empress has also a very great connection with the divine uh, because it's Holy Trinity. Um, and it's it's not just this. It's a lot of other things as well, uh, like body, soul and mind uh, being connected and, and uh, other, other things. This is a holy number, but it shows uh, cooperation and, and riches because it's also connected to nature, nature's abundance. So if we all work together, we are building something that's more. When two people come together and, and love each other, they are building a third entity like the relationship. And there you have the Holy Trinity. If two groups come together and work together to build peace among their countries, uh, they are building a third entity that's peace. Uh, so it's very fertile, this. You can, um, you can build with this and it's uh, having the, uh, the traits of nature being abundant. So when... when People are coming together, building things. You are creating more uh, while 
this more holding back energy is creating less, like there's less love, less compassion, less understanding, uh, less fruitation. So it's more sterile, even though eight is a harmonious number, it wants to polish things. It's like you're being, <laughs> you're being hit with the same situation over and over again until you will find the solution to this problem. Until, so it's like being polished with the sandpaper uh, and making you... Uh, into more and more like smooth <laughs> you're becoming more and more smooth with uh, with your life and because you 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 know more things you're more and more experienced with these kind of situations many of you will be dealing with an uh, air sign <clears throat> as well or you have yourself air in your chart because we have uh, a lot of air coming this is six of swords uh, so six of swords is when head and heart uh, unite uh, when you go you love what you love uh, and you see what you see and uh, and what's come out of that is uh, kind of your highest part uh, so it might be uh, contradictionary sometimes uh, like here we see two different energy one wants to work together and the other one uh, might want to keep old ideals uh, so uh, and then um, a person can feel very much love but still wants to walk away because there's no cooperation for example and it's it's no conflict anymore you love the person but you still walk away the six of swords is um, uh, travel uh, over water it's uh, about relationship it's about acknowledging what's in your heart uh, the the scientist of your the the knowledge of your heart and your your heart being the scientist uh, finding out what's right in your life, what it is that you want or what's the right path. Uh, so we can say that you are figuring out here, you're understanding what's the right path for you. Uh, and it's, it might also be something with truth and cooperation. You, uh, you have something that you really want and it's not so much negotiable. You don't want to negotiate so much about it because you have seen the truth uh, probably in your own heart or someone else has. Uh, next card here is four of cups so four of cups is is kind of a little bit of a masculine way to deal with emotions it's connected to the emperor and it's uh, being offered emotions but not maybe uh, taking what is offered and this uh, girl she's uh, actually totally um, indulged with water she is deep down in water so uh, it's too late to say I don't want it <laughs> okay so if you love someone you love them uh, it's not really something you can do about it. You can't, uh, well, you can pretend to not to and hold this as a secret. We can see it's a little bit of a secret and it might be necessary to keep it a secret if the other person doesn't do their fair share of work. It might be a way to uh, either split uh, from that person or make them take half of the responsibility as well. So it can be many different uh, scenarios here to why this person um, have these emotions but doesn't uh, doesn't um, communicate them okay uh, so it's something that you know that you want but maybe you can't admit to wanting that because you don't feel the support uh, so therefore you are building on yourself and your own inner space maybe meditating a lot maybe figuring out things a lot getting knowledge about what you want and what feels inside of you and also the three of wands is like you're set on something you have a goal so you're maybe going to take care of yourself until you have this what you want and it's not up for negotiation uh, this might be it as well but for some of you it will be uh, like a, a person an entity being stubborn and pretending like they don't have these feelings because uh, of of culture of power uh, of wanting to keep things in the way that they were uh, for example it's always like this that we are a little bit imbalanced in the relationship it might be one person courting the other to begin with so that person shows more love and this one can be a little bit more taking things for granted uh, but then something shifts and this person starts to feel a lot of love and maybe wants more love from this person uh, and this person might this other person might get a little bit tired of it all and wants to 
uh, also have other things in their life. So then it starts to go in this direction. First it was in this direction, then it's in this direction. Uh, so uh, here I feel that there's a person that doesn't want the love to change direction. Maybe you have spoiled them. Maybe you have made them feel uh, like they were kings or queens and now they don't want to get down from that throne. Uh, so they are trying to use uh, hiding their love as leverage against you. Uh, so that might be it. But um, and if you're doing this towards someone, uh, you need to work more on cooperation. And if you have been the on one cooperating all the time and just giving, 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 then I'm all for you. Uh, do this. Uh, keep your love a secret if necessary. And um, uh, because the needs to at least wants to strive towards balance. It will always be a little bit like this, but we always need to strive towards uh, balance. And when we feel like, uh, oh, I don't want to feel, fulfill my partner's needs, we do it uh, kind of anyway. Like uh, if they want to have a back rub or uh, want us to fetch a glass of milk or whatever, we do it even if we think we are tired of it all, but this is what we do for each other. This is the threes. This is how we are cooperating. And when one is maybe a little bit tired, the other one is taking over the rotor. And when this is tired, this one's taking over the rotor. And this is what's making relationships strong and healthy, that you are connected and you have each other's backs. Uh, so it's about swallowing yourself sometimes also and go that extra mile for a person, not only about being uh, selfish, but for many of you, you have been being the only one doing back rubs and fixing milk and showing love and uh, running <laughs> all over the world to find your lost love. And, and now you need to stop. Uh, so you need to see where this balance in your your situations and and when you fall out of balance and uh, what's happening because often when we fall out of balance emotionally inside of us it's our inner child saying that one of their needs is not being met and that might be when relationship starts to uh, wobble because one person's needs are not being met so there always needs to be communication what do you need what do i need and not keeping silence for the sake of uh, um keeping peace in the household uh, you always need to uh, air the things that's that's there in other case they will start to fester and grow and uh, become like a big monster coming out one day and a person start to act totally rational because they have hold back hold back hold back a lot of feelings that they had so this might be it as well like someone has a feeling of their needs not being met but they are afraid to tell you uh, because if they told you uh, they might get their head chopped off by the queen of swords uh, so this might be it it's a lot of different scenarios uh, that i'm seeing here and um, well since it's a general reading you need to figure out uh, uh, for yourself a little bit what's going on but uh, i'm i'm seeing very many different scenarios why this eight of swords is here with the six of swords um okay power game maybe it's a needed power game to restore balance it can be different things queen of pentacles here in the future so queen of pentacles is of course you and it comes either you are male or female and it comes underneath the three of pentacles and the three of wands so it seems like something very feminine and very fertile wants to um maybe you have this love for your partner you are ready to to give you're ready to give everything of yourself uh, queen of pentacles is very fertile she can she throws seeds everywhere she's this one back rubbing fixing milk being like a wonderful mistress a school teacher a beautiful uh, mother or, or parent overall and a, a wonderful friend and also very wise person so this is a person with a lot of qualities and of course um, a person that's being showered with these qualities can become spoiled uh, and it can all, it's also like this that we see the trees as three party relationships sometimes and why we do this is because this is the fertile this is the this is the riches this is the natural resources and a person that's being very greedy they want a lot of people rubbing their backs and coming with milk okay so they are getting selfish and and overindulgent and they want like not one person uh, being this heaven on earth for them but a lot of people so therefore you need to watch 
uh, to whom you're giving this so you're not being just explored uh, or, or used and abused. Uh, like um, uh, I'm seeing this picture of uh, earth being uh, like processed by a farmer and this is one uh, way the, to use the feminine like to use it for building your riches and um, many people might be plowing many different uh, uh, pastures okay so be careful of that don't give yourself away to people that you don't trust if you feel this distrusting here uh, it might be that you're onto something there's some truth to this okay uh, so uh, maybe then you keep your things for yourself and you um, you let them not have you at least make uh, this abundance a little bit more scarce don't spoil people they need to um it's like a person having, um, like, they are never alone and they can point to you and say, uh, well, you're so clingy. Yes, because uh, maybe you have uh, your partner, male or female, in your household uh, two times a week. And the other times they might be having fun with someone else. I'm not saying that this is the scenario for all Capricorns. Uh, I'm just saying this as an example of how things can get very unbalanced or very unfair. Uh, so um, trust yourself. Uh, that is what I'm trying to say. Trust yourself. If you feel like there's a lack or you are not getting enough, trust this and go with it and explain it and com communicate it because um, um, then the person won't be able to starve you anymore. That's what I was, I was trying to say. While they, they themselves has the time of their life, maybe not with the other woman, but maybe they are, um, maybe they are taking you for granted in some other way. Okay. And here we have the hangman. So it seems like you are uh, with this with holding your horses you, this is very fertile with a three three uh, the 12 one plus two is also three it's like a pregnancy but it's a pregnancy where you're not ready to give of what you have um, uh, just yet it's some kind of delay and it comes under the king here and the six of swords so it might be someone kind of they need to get it okay they need to mature uh, they need to see the consequences of their own actions they need to um it's like the penny needs to fall down <laughs> so they like having this aha moment sometimes we can see the hangman being enlightened uh, so for many of you earth signs i think you're kind of hanging around waiting for someone to get it you're hanging around waiting for someone to uh, figure it out on their own uh, it's like when you say to a person over and over again, I don't trust you because of this, uh, or I don't feel uh, settled in this relationship because of this. And every time they act like a surprise, like they didn't know this. And they, uh, what do you mean? What? Uh, I don't understand. This is a way to play dumb. And it's a little bit what I see here. The person knows, but they are playing a little bit dumb uh, because they want to keep you attached and and they don't want to maybe ex expose the truth towards you uh, so um what to do then say i have already explained it uh, try to understand uh, make the effort to understand or if you don't i i will take that as a sign <laughs> so um and as i said apply this on on your situation and here you have the four of swords so four of swords is um you have eight of swords, uh, four of cups, four of swords. Either you are with an air sign that's very detached or you yourself are becoming uh, more like the queen of swords. Uh, you see things and and you see things clearly and, and you, she is about justice. So you're waiting for the other person maybe to bring you justice. So you're not doing particularly much about this situation uh, because... Um, uh, there's some un injustice in, in this situation, but um, you're still hopeful, very hopeful for this, uh, to, like this cooperation and, and you, you know what your heart wants. It's just that you're waiting for probably this coin to, to fall and the person having this light bulb moment, the eight of wands. Uh, maybe you're waiting for someone to get it and to communicate back to you. You have eight of wands, you also have eight of swords. So you want them to think for themselves. You want them to, 
figure it out. You want them to do the effort to try to understand you, not only you doing the effort to understand this other person all the time. Uh, so it's like you're taking a pause uh, to let uh, the other one lead the dance uh, for this time, Capricorn. And it might be for a lot of you, for other of you Capricorn, it might be that some other person is waiting for you to take some more responsibility in the relationship. Uh, take um, showing um, if you love somebody, if they are worth something to you, you need to show it. If you don't show it, they won't know it and they won't feel it. And if they don't feel it, uh, their needs are not getting met. Uh, so you see where I'm getting here. Uh, if you have a relationship, it's supposed to be fertile and fulfill each other's needs. It's not supposed to make you feel poor and, uh, and um, uh, you know, sucked dried. <laughs> so we have the Jin here. And uh, so it's very feminine strength to this reading. And uh, so it's like the feminine is becoming very strong by maybe becoming more uh, withdrawn and just, you know, seeing the situation very truthfully, but not doing anything about it. Uh, the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information, it's like the Queen of Swords, and taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing. Uh, so you don't, uh, uh, you don't uh, try to make another person be in the way that you want them. You give them the chance to be with you while you are kind of being very clear with what you want. And if they don't take the bait, um, so you... Uh, you kind of detach from the outcome, I would say. This is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you, ready to accept it when it appears. Yin does not involve frozen dreams or ever, even resisting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you, uh, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the action of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shaped, not the shaper, and you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. Uh, so it's this, um, uh, this ability to, to not chase your dreams and not chase. If you have shoot in the arrow, don't chase it to its destination. Uh, see what will happen. So if you have been stating some truth to someone, um, wait for them to get it, okay? And if they don't, um, that's also totally fine because at least you took yourself out of a situation of um, starvation where you have offered like a set table and, and maybe you didn't get so much in return because someone is a little bit juvenile uh, or try to, they are not, they, they don't take responsibility because of... Um, uh, they don't want to take responsibility because if they play a little bit dumb and if they don't take responsibility, it's your show, it's your relationship, it's you managing everything and they can, can come and go as they want uh, and they don't have a problem. They don't have to obsessively thinking, but I think uh, you have made them obsessively thinking about this now because you have changed your patterns of how you are behaving before maybe you were stalking them almost and trying to get them to listen to and to understand and now uh, you just um, stay inside of yourself nine of pentacles six of swords four of swords it's like you're working on your inner space and your own life while you're waiting for someone else to evolve a little bit okay wild wild kuan yin oracle uh play with me <laughs> okay so it's a game is this um, balance game uh, so you want to restore balance maybe by withdrawing a little bit from someone that's uh, not doing uh, their their work so for you cross watchers this might as easily be a capricorn not doing the work so you know and uh, um, apply it as it fits uh, for you in your story uh, play with me. There's a more joyful way for you to be yourself in the world. To access that, you will need to let go of the struggles you have endured and your past suffering. So this, when you have tried and tried and tried to make them understand and they were just uh, acting plain stupid and didn't do the work. Uh, they just see you get all sweaty uh, trying, okay? 
Uh, you do not have to deny what you have been through, nor do you need to ignore your feelings. But you do need to be willing to put it behind you now. You will not lose anything through doing this except uh, your pain. It has served a purpose. Now it's time for another way. It's time for play. Uh, okay, so it might be that you have learned the other person's game and now you're just mirroring their behavior uh, to get some kind of balance back. And um, um, it seems like um, this person here loves you. It's just that it's a secret. Uh, so either they, uh, if they love you and you are distancing yourself, maybe the, the, the pain of missing you will make them uh, reveal their secret. Uh, so it might be like a little bit game playing that's needed here. But in that case, it's it's here not to manipulate and to win, but actually to make things more harmonious, more equal and more just. Uh, so, OK, my dear Capricorn, I hope that helped. Uh, I want you to take really good care and happy New Year's uh, to all of you. I also want to promote my website, uh, www.queenofcupstarot.se, like in Sweden. Uh, so uh, welcome you back to my February reading that will come in the mid of January. And then I will also do this pre-video with astrological uh, happening in February. Uh, so for those who wants to also see my face, <laughs> okay, take good care Capricorn and um, um, have a peaceful New Year's, okay, fun but <laughs> peaceful, okay, bye.